Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to 7 Days to Die on the Radio Man 03. Awesome to have you along. Day 4. Uh, first three hours of the day I spent getting a second row of spikes all the way around the base. Got started on the third row. We'll have three or four uh, total around it. Today, well, we're going to try our hand at a little bit of looting. I, I feel like there's um, a proper way of getting to a certain level. Uh, we're shooting for level 20, of course. I just leveled up crafting and chopping down trees. And now I'm kind of looking for potential people that we can, uh, you know. Oh, I think I missed him. Get some extra pee off of. I just go for the shot. There we go. Got him. And then the axe. Oh, man, this thing is just amazingly awesomeness. The axe is just great. Oh. As he says it, haven't missed a single zombie yet today. You got an arrow on you? You do. Good. I'm using iron arrows, so it's putting them down. It actually knocks these guys, uh, a lot of them, off their feet, and they go down with just a shot, which is pretty cool. But I thought we hit up some of the smaller structures today. Not any dungeons or anything like that, but stuff that we can get zombies out of, level up, and, uh, you know, get some points. Oh, let's... Go ahead and chop that up. We'll get a little bit of wood, a little bit of stone in our inventory. I left the rest of it back at home. Stone in the wood, that is. Uh, we're hot. Let's get out of here. We're looking for the trader. We're going to the trader. I've got some more iron that we need to cook up. Oh, boy, it's really toasty out here. <clears throat> yeah, they're unforgiving now. We need to get the uh, proper stuff. We need a poncho. I think the adult movie theater would be a great place for us to get started at today. Uh, once we get over to that side, because I want to grab a few things. If, if we've got a few things over there, I'd like to grab them that are important to us over here. Is this workbench working? It's destroyed. That is destroyed, too. Where is the... Uh, um, I'm looking for the... Whatchamacallit station. The... Uh, let's put that up. Uh, we're going to need a few frames. Oh, boy. Okay, so ta escape. Tab. How many frames can I make? Um, okay, so I can only do a couple, so we've got a little bit. We'll throw that in there. We're going to do that right there, and then we're going to tell it to make, I don't know, let's let's make 30 forged iron. Let's craft that. We'll get that going, and hopefully that'll smelt down. We're just going to let that run. Did I have anything crafting in here? I never did come back and tell it to craft anything. There's got to be a uh, chem station somewhere. I'm looking for that to see if it's it's a viable chem station. We were just out there. Oh, here we go. It is. It's a good one. Okay, so cool. We can make glue and stuff for duct tape because that's coming. I'm, I'm trying to get us a, a little bit prepped for level 20. So we're going to need four points total to get to level... Uh, when we hit level 20, I'll show you what I mean. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know this. But if we go over here to intellect, we need this to be... Uh, we can open this level 20... And then crafting 40%, that's not until level 30. So we need a point for here. And the reason we need that point here is so that we can get the hammer and forge. And intellect level 5. Oh, boy. So that's not until level 30. Okay, so then we're going to have to get to level 30 in order to get the bicycle. I thought that was something we could do right away, but it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. So let's head out of here. Uh, we're going to zip on through this area right here because it is a nasty mess. We'll get out of the burn biome because it's just going to be hot and we're not prepared for that just yet. We need to let enough leather to make a poncho. We just don't have the leather all together in one location. So we're going to go out and grab up some of our important stuff to get that uh, kind of organized and ready to go. You can make it, dude. Just keep running. Just keep on trucking. There you go. That a boy. You made it. You're okay. Let's grab a little bit of wood, too, while we're at it. There we go. Excellent. Huh. Beautiful. Places like this right here, places like this right here are kind of like, uh, I think, early game stage places that you can loot and, uh, you know, wake up the zombies, get them outside, go inside, loot them, and take the stuff for yourself. There, there is no second floor to this place. I always think there's a second floor on this one, and there isn't, if there's zombies in here. Yeah, there is. Good, 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 good. Come on out, you guys. Yeah. Oh, we got several in there. Good, good, good. Really? There we go. 
beautiful. Two hits with his axe is really a sweet thing. Uh, we got another Billy sitting right in there. I've seen people going in some of these dungeons, and man, these dungeons are rough. Uh, Pete and Billy. I'm pretty sure I'll kill him with one hit, yeah. He's gonna take three or four. But we're getting stronger, slowly but surely. Make that five hits. So now we're in. We're in like Flynn, we got some stuff to loot up. I feel like this is kind of easy stuff to kind of do at the beginning here. Uh, we got bird's nest up here. We got a cooking pot right there. Uh, we got an empty cupboard. There's some water jars. I'll take those guys. Shotgun shells, some coffee beans. Okay. Uh, medicine cabinet. Oh, yeah. Oh, a splint and a, a health bandage. So I feel like these little areas right here would be good. Now, if I had a better pick... I would take this, but it's just, you know, it's going to be such a grind to get that, that it's not worth doing right now. It's going to take more time than I think it's worth for like that. I think it's five iron or something like that you get out of. So we've got that one taken care of. We'll let those, that one reload. And we're just going to continue to make our way over to the uh, adult theater. And we'll grab stuff along the way. Anything we don't need necessarily right away, we can leave in the chest there because we are getting closer to our mark of, you know, having a bicycle and stuff like that. What I'm trying to do right now is get me to the point where I can kill these guys really quick. You know, two, three hits at the most. Uh, we do have a graveyard next to us. I wonder if this has got anything good in it right here. I thought today we'd do a little bit of looting since we've got some of the building taken care of. Yeah, here they come. Holly can't get out of her grave, poor thing. Oh, wow, she survived two hits? Tough girl. That is one tough girl. We put her back in the ground, though. Mad mole. <laughs> All right. Did we get this one open? We did. Let's just go through here and wake them all up. Oh, there's another Holly. Make sure no one's coming up on us. Nice. Looks like Holly's whole family's buried here, huh? Oh, one more. Oh, that's weird. They are all Holly. <laughs> there we go, and let's do a little bit of digging right here. These little things they put in the game are really cool, I think. Oh, we gotta, oh, we gotta dig this one up here. Make sure nobody's coming. Alright, we're good. Yeah, I meant to bring you guys here and do this the other day, and I forgot all about this graveyard sitting here. Oh, a yucca seed. Oh, fantastic. Okay, I know. It sounds weird, but that, that is a good thing right there. And I think, don't we have, well, we've got one more grave here that's not been opened up here. Paintbrush and glue. Nice. Worth it. It was definitely worth it. Um, oh, we're encumbered. Oh, of course we are. Um, I'm going to drop the coffee beans for now. I'm, I'm barely certain we're going to find more of that. I'm going to drop that piece of coal. Let's scrap that too. And that, the cooking pot. That should pull us all back into uh, together. Well, we're going to be a little bit encumbered. That's about it. Let's take a look at our map. Okay, so I want to be going this way towards our red marker. So here we go. We're going to go off this direction right here. Day four. What can we get accomplished in day four? We're almost ready to level up again. Oh, wow. That is awesome. Look at that. Another yucca seed. Oh, you know what I meant to do? We're going to drop this lead. I meant... And we're going to cancel that. We're just going to drop those. I'm not going to grab that stuff just yet. I meant to uh, see if the trader had a hoe that we could purchase off of him. Oh, beautiful. Here's another target. B. 
beat him down. Just beat him right to the ground. We're gonna grab wood on the way. Just these, just these simple little pieces of wood. Check this trash. Very nice. A little bit of paper. Don't really need the paper, but there it is. Oh, uh, here's a burn victim. And the one, and while we're doing this today, we're gonna just simply grab zombies that we can see, and and just do that. And we're just gonna take them down and get the points for them and level up. There we go. There's one right there. Let's see a guy right over there. Pretty easy process, I think. It'd be nice to run into a horde as well. No arrow. Okay. Stay out of the burn biome because we're getting too hot. We could probably use a little something to drink. A little something to eat. There we go. Bird nest. Got an egg. Very nice. I'm not over encumbered. And let's get this let's get this cheapo axe back out again. Uh, here's another place we could hit up as we head over there. Uh, that gas barrel is not gonna be it's not gonna work for me right there. That internal crackle from the fires just keeps me really nervous here. There's bound to be somebody in here. There's a nurse in the back, back of the room. Well, that's creepy. There could be somebody right above me here too. Right up on that board right there. See if there's anybody up here. Oh God! Apparently she came down already. Mary, Mary, Mary. Are you sleeping on those boxes back there? Crazy girl. You gotta be careful because if they hit these cars, they'll blow them up. I'm a little surprised nobody was down on the floor here, or up in, up in the ceiling here. It seems very strange to me. Nothing in there. Empty trash. Oh, come on, get up here. This is really difficult to try to get up in here and see. Uh, there's some garbage up here. Just some trash, okay. I think you can break this out. The trash will just sit there. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Apparently not. Um, frames, let's make... Uh, can we make ten? We can. Beautiful. I'm going to scrap that. Turn it into paper. That way we don't think about it. And I don't think I can put a frame here. I don't know that this is really worth going after this piece of trash here. There we go. Nope, sure wasn't. <laughs> okay. Alright, but this stuff here, this is sand. This is sand. You get sand and stone out of that stuff right there. So that's not bad. There's a place for it anyway. So there's a little tiny uh, little place to go in and see if there's any good loot. 
to get a hold of. Sometimes you find some pretty nice stuff in those little places. I think you'd agree. Dukes. We're a little over encumbered right now. We should be okay though. And she did hit me, so let's go ahead and use a bandage. Yeah, I was thinking these garages, like this little building right back there, that might not be a bad thing to hit up. Uh, we've got another garage right over here on the left. We're going to hit this garage up right here and see what we've got in here. And we're just going to deal with being encumbered for a little bit. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, sounds like they're coming out a side door, perhaps. Yeah, they're gonna come out over here. Good, good. Treasure map. Come on. There we go. Beautiful. We're tearing into it. Lucy. I didn't hear anybody get up. Oh, for Pete's sake. These rafters are a pain. You can't get through to see. Thought for a second maybe I forgot somebody in here to look around for somebody. There's a there's a bag over here. Nothing. Well, there's another one over here. There we go, there we go, there we go. If we don't use the gun, we could sell the gun. Anything else in here? Another piece of trash. Come on. Brass and some lead. Oh my god, I'm stuck on everything in here. There we go. It's tight. Tight quarters, man. That's one thing different about the game this time. There's a lot of tight quarters, that's for sure. Uh, Alright, we need to do some stuff here. Arrowheads, uh, recipes, iron arrow... I could make one of those. We'll use that. I'm going to go ahead and read this. Accept it. We'll get to that when we get to that. We should have a drop coming today. Uh, scrap. Scrap. Uh, scrap. We're going to keep those pipes. Oh boy, I've got some decent stuff on me right now. I don't want to lose anything else. I'm going to go ahead and hold on to the rest of this. Let's keep on trucking here. We're almost to where we need to be. Here's another garage that could be uh, good to go into. Matter of fact, let's check it out. Let's see what's in here. Make sure nobody else is around here. What is this? This is kind of weird to have this inside a garage. This may be something entirely different here. Let's go ahead and take a drink. Eat a little something too, since we did get hit. Get all that stuff back up. Let's hammer away at this. We'll jump the fence once we get this taken care of. nice little farm over here. This is cool. Look at that. They got everything in here for us. You're gonna have to remember that. Oh, 
Oh, I knew somebody got out. Big Mama got herself out of there. Right to the top of the head. Oh, wow. There we go. Let's get rid of Holly. Oops. Okay, I think we might be good. It's you, you're always late to the party, Mary. What's going on with you? <laughs> She's always like late to the party or something. Oh, I'll be there in just a second. Sledgehammer. Paint. Uh, can't see if there's anything up there. Let's grab these wood frames. Let's take a hop on up and see. Nothing. Alright, we're good to go there. Another garage taken care of. And then we got this one over here, and there's that one. So yeah, there's plenty of little places that we could do this to kind of level up. We're, where are we at right now? We are 12 going on 13. I'm hoping to get to level 20 by the end of day 5, the start of day 6. Excuse me, I got the hiccups all of a sudden. Yeah, we're quite encumbered right now. We need to kind of get to where we're going to be here. There's there's the adult movie theater, so we're almost there. But these houses right here, upstairs in the attic, it seems like there's always ferals. What I've seen in our group play is that it, it seems to always be like some ferals up there. And uh, sometimes it's feral whites. Shotgun shells, nice. Feral whites, or it's got, uh, what, well, Games for Kicks was up in one of those. They had a bear up inside of it. So, yeah, it's just, uh, there's some nasty stuff in there. you got to be careful for sure. And I just don't feel like we're at the level right now where we can do some of this stuff. I want to actually take this stuff here and drop it into this chest outside of Lathan Hardware where we were staying the first night. Get this stuff put over here, and then what we can do is when we get the bicycle, we can come back and forth and grab these things. Just hang in there, buddy. You're almost there. There we go. There we go. All right, let's do that. That. I'm going to drop some of this stuff off in here. Iron arrows. Uh, oh, we got steel arrows back again. That's nice. Going to drop those. That. Uh, yeah. Matter of fact, we could drop all of this stuff in here right now. Uh, we're going to take that with us. And those guys right there. And the splint can stay. The wrench can come with me. Uh, drop, 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 drop. Like that right there. Yeah, you know, I've got the other bandages. We're going to leave that one there. We're going to go hit this place up right over here. Let's see. We need to eat. Drink. Let's drop off these this empty jar. There we go. And let's put the wrench down here in case there's anything we feel like wrenching. We are going to need to do some wrenching for sure. We're going to have to come up with some stuff. Most definitely. Oh, I didn't search this trash can yet. I did put a claim block back at our place that we're building, and I know I've got stuff up on the roof here, but I'm ready to go inside and let's go do let's let's go do a place. super cautiously. Not when I'm with a group. Okay, let's go inside.
Let's get our arrows back too before we lose them. Breathing weird. <laughs> it just seems so bizarre. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Here we go. The axe is great. So far, my favorite weapon. Another wrench. Nice. Another bandage. Very good. Very, 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 very good. Be careful up on top of that stuff right there. Ah, there's our drop. Let's go outside real quick. Get that marked. Drop a few things off of the chest here, too. There it is, way over there. <clears throat> we'll probably go after that if we have time for today. Look at that. We've got three... Healing bandages. Actually, let's keep those on us right now. Uh, map. We want to mark this for sure because if you don't and you log out and come back in, it disappears. Drop. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, we got it. We got it. Let's get this movie theater taken care of. Yeah, there's a lot of leather in here we're going to need for the bellows. I think I was talking about that earlier. That's one of the things I want to make sure we get a hold of. There's plenty of leather, so when it comes time to make our forge, we can do it. Uh, okay, we're in that bathroom there. Uh, next is this bathroom. You know there could be somebody right up on that right there. Causes us a whole lot of problems. We're just going to be careful. I don't have enough strength to survive too much. You know, a few hits and you're doomed. Acid. Nice. We need that for the tires. Duct tape. Oh, man. That was a... Uh, this was a good room right here. Stone. Okay, they're up above. They're coming out of somewhere. Oh, there he is. He's in the he was in the kitchen. All right, good deal. Come here, buddy. Call me buddy and then you hit me in the face with an axe? What kind of friends are you used to? <laughs> Nothing in the lockers. Oh man, that's kind of a bummer. Let's go back out here in the kitchen. More acid. There's a grill. <laughs> it's the first grill I have ever found in Alpha 17 Experimental. First one. I just had a feeling that was going to happen. Uh, okay, we've got a cooler there. There we go. Beautiful. We checked the bedroom. We checked out here. So let's. Do we need the registers? Can we do anything with those? No. Let's try to break through. What is this here? That's wood, so let's break through the wall here instead of that. I'm going to keep my eyes open for some baddies. There we 
There we go, there's a safe in here, I know that for sure. And let's scrap those chairs. I'm not, I'm not comfortable with having this sitting wide open like this. This is just ridiculous. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and box that off. And uh, let's see. What's this going to take? Uh, I'll be back when I get through the safe. There we go. Oh, I don't know if that's worth it. Now I think it's worth it. Now I think it's worth it. That seems like it's worth it. Oh, I shouldn't scrap these things. I got four cooking pots on me? Really? Four cooking pots? Wow, that's just obnoxious. Uh, let's repair that. Okay, all right, beautiful. Uh, yeah, that was worth it. Uh, compound bow does work great. Uh, I'm not real great with it, so I'm just going to kind of leave it there for now. I need to get better at using it. I don't think there's anything behind any of these pictures. Here's one of the theaters. Let's go in here real quick. We got a guy sleeping way up top. Well, they busted out the side door here too. You see that? And they caused damage to the screen. Oh, right to the top of the head. I love that. This is what I'm talking about, though. Leather for days. There you go. One big hit, one small hit. Big hit, and a small hit. That way we don't use up quite as much stamina on this. This is crazy. I don't like this at all. I'll be putting that up there just to make sure nobody comes in that way behind me. If they do come in, they're going to have to make some noise. Yeah, they did uh, some damage in here while we were up on the roof, it looks like. That's okay. And we're getting leather each time we do this. We've got 18 right now, so we'll be able to make that poncho before we leave this theater. And There's one other theater. I'll be back once I clean all the leather out of this thing. Welcome back. <clears throat> Our axe is taking some damage, so I'm not chopping up the other uh, piece of the theater. Just the one side. Matter of fact, I'm going to use this axe on here. Oh, back in here, huh? Okay, okay, all right, all right. I'm good with that. Sounds like it's coming from behind me is what it's doing. If I could shut her up, I'd be happy. Yeah, he's right in there. this out too, just so I get more than one way out when I go in here. Okay, there's some lockers, some clothing maybe, there's some boots. Acid, nice. Lead, okay, so we're gonna drop that. I think I've got boots on. Yeah, I do. We'll scrap those, and we're good to go. Let's find out where this guy is. Is there anything? Did I miss anything in here? I don't think so. Just the just some lights. Okay. He's got to be here somewhere. You got to watch these stairs. They move really fast on the stairs. Oh, he's upstairs here. Let's go deal with this situation here. Trust this stairwell here. It's really narrow. If 
suppose. Let's, uh... Let's wear those. Okay, this leads to the roof, which is great. Okay, fine. safes in here, nothing like that, so we're good to go there. Whew. Nerve-wracking. I'm gonna use that. Use a little water. What we got down here? Another hallway here. Oh, look who's coming in here. You were sneaking up on me, weren't you? How quiet he is, huh? Just a sneaky little devil. Let's do this again. There we go. Oh, this is going to take forever to get through here, too. That's okay. We'll clear this building out. We'll have done a building. We've leveled up three times today. So far. Maybe four. Okay, he's on this side. Of where we blocked that off. Is he above us, maybe? This is an office space. It'd be worth getting in here. It's gonna take a long time, though. Almost there. safe in here. I'm not going to do it. Uh, it's just going to take too long. I feel like I'm running out of time for the day. I want to get things uh, kind of going back at home, too. We've got to work there as well. This must be up here. There he is. Yeah, he's just being a weirdo. The world's weakest zombie. Okay, nothing, there's a roof up here. There could be ferals up on the roof. We'll see. That is pretty much the theater, I think. Nobody here? I think you're right, my land claim block. Yep, it's right there. It's, it's, it's a horrible day. <laughs> it's just storming like crazy. I want this out of here so I know we've taken everything off of here. Put that right there. And we checked these trashes when we were up here. Anything in here? Uh, we got a cooking pot? Nope. Beautiful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I almost fell off of there. Uh, you know what? I kind of think of it. Yeah, we did do the office on that side, so I think we're good. I may have missed something in here. We'll see. You guys will let me know, as you always do. Let's take that. Where did I, uh, where was I getting up and down at? There's Lathan Hardware right there. Right over here. Here's my mess. We'll leave the ladder on here. We'll grab the frames. Okay, success. 
Okay, now I know I've got more leather in there to deal with. That's fantastic. More leather is always good. Um, let's figure out what we're going to take back to the base location and the things we don't need over here. And then we're going to start working our way back and uh, get things kind of organized here. Uh, wow, we got some really good stuff. Let's see here. Uh, let's throw out that, that, that. Let's throw all this stuff in and then we'll see what we need and what we don't need to come with us. Well, first of all, we need the shiv. We need the iron. Uh, wood barrels, shotgun shells, ammo. Oh, there's our poncho. Oil, I want that for sure. Uh, that, the cloth, the duct tape. Uh, the yucca seeds that we're going to be able to plant soon. The leather, of course. We'll take the fiber, the iron pipes, the eggs. I don't really need the cash just yet. That, the glue, the jars, of course. Uh, stand, sand and wood. I should have just left those in my inventory. We'll leave those here, though. Uh, murky bottles of water. The grill, we have one. Brass, paintbrush. The splint is medicine. We should have that. That's a better wrench. Let's take that with us. We're going to be a little overburdened, but not too bad. And what am I, am I wearing a shirt at all? I am, I am wearing that. So I'm going to take that shirt with me as well. And that's good. We can come back for the rest of this stuff later. It's not a bad little sledgehammer there too. Yeah, okay, so we're good to go there. We're a little overburdened, but we should be able to truck on home pretty well. Let's go ahead and I'm going to mark just a quick waypoint here. Yeah. And let's take a walk. We, we've not killed any animals yet today, which kind of uh, concerns me. Do I have... I swear to God, that is, is that is that me? Making that grindy sound, that weird breathing sound. It's so strange. I'd stay out, but we don't have um, any uh, forged iron to fix our pick. Look, look up. So I figured we cruise home, get this stuff there. I should have grabbed. I've got eggs in my inventory, so we're good to go there. When we get to where we're going, we'll take a look. At our stats right now. God, for some reason, I am just like super nervous. You know what it is. It's my longer day at work. I get home on my Tuesdays, and I just... A little more tired than I usually am, you know? And uh, I just don't feel like I play as well. I'm certainly not as chatty as I normally am. But I do my best, I do. Feathers. Looking for some eggs too, guys. Let's 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 give us eggs. Ooh. <gasps> oh my god, that is a Doberman right there. Don't need that. Don't need that. What is this? This is a pass and gas. Okay, so the pass and gas, we're gonna have to hit this guy up. He may have some tools for us in there. Uh, some bicycle handlebars. So let's go to the map. Are we clear here? Let's go to our map. Uh, save as... P and G. Pass and gas. There we go. We're gonna hit that guy up next. Uh, he may have some really good stuff for us that we're gonna want. Stormy weather. I saw that zombie laying on the ground. I thought, oh, I'm going to go kill her. And then right in the corner, right by three barrels of gas, is a dog standing there. I think there's a house out here near us as well that we talked about raiding also. Oh, Pete. Yeah, come here, Pete. You're worth a lot of points. Let's bring it on, buddy. Excellent, excellent, excellent. You might get us about halfway there. Yeah. 
Mm, almost. <laughs> he's worth a lot. He's a good. He's a good. He's a good. He's a good point earner. Oh, it's a nasty day. You know what else I need to do today is I would love to get some cobblestone going for some flagstone blocks. We don't have any flagstone blocks, and we really need some of those uh, so we can continue building. I want to get some walls put up on the base. Traders over there, so that means home sweet home is right over this way. There's the graveyard. Oh, there, it just popped in. Just popped in. Yeah, I really should spend the rest of the day grinding out some stone and then getting ready for the night because I want to be able to. <clears throat> what I want to do is put flagstone down underneath the base right now. Come on, you can do that. Break that stick. There we go. Okay, he's really exhausted. He needs food, he needs water, uh, and I think I've got enough to get me through the rest of the day today and then overnight tonight, but then tomorrow I'm going to have to try to do some hunting day five. We've got to try to get some food uh, back into the uh, game plan, which I think a lot of the drops now are food. Oh, look at that. The trees have come up. Okay, I planted trees over there. Hoping they're kind of a, at least a little, little ways away from us so they don't cause too much lag. And I've been kind of getting this stuff out of here. So it's just not here, you know what I mean? It doesn't uh, clog up the area. Let's jump up here. Jump up here. Yeah, I want flagstone so I can finish flagstoning this off. And then, oh, just so you guys know, this is actually going to come out to three like this. And then we're going to have this platform here. But this is going to be uh, an area for us to basically stand on three out from the edge. So we can stand out here and then shoot down at the zombies here. I notice the zombies tend to, uh, well, they, uh, they're, they're, they're very path-oriented right now, it seems like. Uh, no, we can throw this stuff right in here. Uh, food. We do need to run over and take a look at, uh, here's ammo our stuff in the forge to see how that's coming along. It needs to be taken care of. Tell you what, let me get this stuff put away and we'll head over and see how the forge is doing. We're back. Back over the trader. Let's see what we got going on in here. We should have some forged iron. There we go. Very nice. We're going to take that, drop it in there, and take half of these guys. Not even half of them. We're just going to put in that many and turn that on. And... Yes, that's good right there. We got that going again for some iron. And then we did find the chem station in here. Where was that? Was it up here? I think it was just right up here, huh? We do. All right. Uh, can I make... Oh, I don't have... Hold on. There we go. I should be able to do something like that right there. Glue. We can make six glue. I brought the bones that we do have over here to get the glue going. So that's going to take... Not very long at all. Forty seconds. Let's grab this glue and take it back with us. And then I'm gonna check him and see if he's got uh, a hoe that we could buy, if if that's possible. Can can I make? I don't. I can't make the tools yet. I can't make those iron tools yet. Not till we reach level twenty. And we are. Let's take a look at that while we're waiting for this to cook up. We are currently at level 13. I was hoping to get to 15 today. I mean, it's still a possible possibility, but it, it's getting later in the day now. Um, we've got two points. I'm holding on to my... I did buy a sexual Tyrannosaurus perk just to give us a little more stamina because it was just running down so dang fast. There it is right there. Blue. All right, blue. So now I can make a little more duct tape. Let's see if this guy's got... Uh, what we're looking for. How's this doing? That's done too. Let's just turn it. Oh, you know what? Leave it on and let's go ahead and let's get all the forged iron out of it that we can. We'll do that right there. That way when we do, we can start making our tools. We've got the forged iron we need for it. Hello, how hey, are you? Asshole. You better not bring any diseases into my store. <sighs> I brought more diseases in than you could imagine, sir. Okay, he does not have... Oh, iron garden hoe. Here it is. 700 bucks. 
I don't have 700 coin. <laughs> you won't buy pine cones? Who is this guy? Yeah. Okay, so what's the poncho go for? 96 bucks. Bandages, $3 each? Really? That's it, huh? A little surprised. Okay, so he does have an iron garden hoe. I know his inventory changes out, so we gotta be careful about that. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see if we, we we'll see if we need to buy his hoe or not. I, I don't know about you guys, but it has been a nasty weather day the entire time I have been on today. Except for the very early morning hours where I was just doing, you know, chores around the place, getting spikes ready and stuff like that. I'm gonna grab a little more wood here, because we're really low. But I'm gonna work on the lower part of the base today, and I want to get a little something inexpensive set up that I can go up and down. And then if zombies do somehow get in there and destroy it, it's not that big a deal. But I'm gonna have to get some clay too. I've gotta get some clay as well. So there's that work to do also. Which I'll do first. Well, you know what? I'm gonna be digging up clay under the base uh, during the night. I want to get some kind of a little mine set up. Just something I can go down, straight down underneath the base. So if they want to get to me, they'd either have to dig and then dig over to me. I think is what I want to do. They seem very... They're very path-oriented now. I notice that they, they want to funnel... directly to you. They'll walk around solid walls just to get to a path. They see a, an opening to where you're standing. They will move around to that location just to get to you. So it makes me wonder if... The base I built in the last season, that would probably work really well. Uh, they would just come and get ground up in the traps with, with ease. Let me get rid of this because I always wind up checking it. It's just a waste of my time. There we go. Yeah, down here, I want to get this floored down here with, uh, with flagstone and then cobblestone. And I need to make cobblestone for the walls as well. And this needs to come out uh, a few more blocks, this little walkway right here. Let's get rid of this bird's nest too. Go like that, perfect. So we're not doing too bad, I believe. Uh, I could make some more duct tape inventory. Nope, tab. Uh, du duct tape. I can make eleven more of those. We're gonna need them for the bicycle, so we're gonna do that right there. Uh, forged iron can go right up in there, and then this is all the food and kind of odds and ends here. Feathers, weapons, stuff like that. Uh, we can drop that in there right now. We don't need it. Uh, we are going to need to cook up this water. Uh, actually, you know what? This gives you f a plus four hydration. Water and the chrysanthemum tea give you 15 hydration. Right? 15 hydration. 15 stamina, I should say. Water, 20. But if you do the chrysanthemum tea water, it gives you uh, an extra four. That's weird. Why can't I only make two? I've got 18 bottles of murky water. Oh, I've only got two. Okay, I see. You gotta have cooked water. Okay, so boiled water. Cook that. Red tea. Cook that right there. There we go. Alright, beautiful. And we drop this back in here. And we'll throw the cloth in here. We got a little bit of oil, a little bit of uh, stuff to make tires with, and the oil. We need both those things to make tires, so we've got that going for us. And you can go right up in there. And I am going to have to cook up some more bacon and eggs. Bacon and eggs, let's do another five of those. And we'll take the rest of the meat and throw it in there. We're doing actually pretty good on the food front. We're good. Uh, finding yucca seeds today was a good thing. That means we can make those and multiply them. And uh, there's a really nice, uh, the yucca juice is different now. It is uh, sexual tyrannosaurus involved with it too. It, it cools you, hydrates you, and gives you the stamina of a sexual tyrannosaurus. So it's just a major bonus right there. So that's, that's a huge help right there. So while that's going, what I need to do also this uh, before the sun goes down is get some stone. And that is an arduous task with this little tiny... Uh, pick we've got here. It's just a it's, it's a horrible pick. This little this little hatchet. It's brutal. <laughs> it's it's brutal. 
Well, I think that's where I can call it. And then uh, I think we'll go get the drop next episode so we have it to see exactly what's in it. Let's grab this, uh, this little honey stump right here. And I'm going to bust up that rock. Actually, we could just use this axe right here. Make life a lot easier on us. I just love having the iron tools. Once you hit level 20, which I have in our group world, things go so much better for you. It's just unbelievable. And I, I think we're going to hit level 20 before we hit day 7. Uh, I do. I think we're going to hit it by day 6. We're just going to have to go out and do some serious zombie killing and stuff uh, these next couple of days. Days 5 and 6 and really get that taken care of. And... Um, get some kills under our belts. We're almost to the next level, so we should be able to get to level 20 uh, without thinking about it too much, I think. Uh, no hordes today. But then again, we weren't right here by the base either, so that, that, that could be a thing as well. The reason why we didn't have any hordes show up was because we weren't here. Uh, they tend to show up where you are, but uh, we didn't have any. I was kind of counting on a horde or two to get us up closer to 20 right away. Also, multiplayer, the shared XP, man, you just can't beat that. It, it just, you level up so fast. Variety and I are going to do a series, just the two of us, on seven days. And uh, we've got the server and everything lined up. We tried to get it started over the weekend, but uh, she fell ill, and we were having trouble getting the server set up properly. Uh, the company we use gave us the wrong codes and stuff like that, so it was just we couldn't get in. But uh, we'll be starting that sometime here in the near future because I know a lot of you guys like to see me and Variety working together and having fun. So uh, we'll work on that and we'll, we'll get that going. Um, but as usual, it is one of those things that we do when we can. Uh, if, the, if, if the group can play, then we play with the group. Uh, but sometimes, like, Gypsy has to work or, you know, whatever. And then we, we, we wind up... Oh, there's a horde. Speaking of a horde... 20. Oh, this is this is great. This is just what we needed. Burt Reynolds, over and over again. Let's put arrows in each one of them if we can. What are these guys doing over here? Let's pull them over this way. Out here in a clearing. Oh, just, just when I was talking about a horde. Here they are. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. There we go. That's it. That's what I need. Lots of XP. Bert. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Hold, take it easy, take it easy. Making sure nothing's behind us. Get our stamina back up a little bit. Make sure we've got plenty of it. Once you start getting low on it, you start swinging weaker, and they just they can handle that. Got arrows on you. Come here, Lucy. That guy's tricky. Nice. Big mama. I love you, baby. Bring it. Give me that point. Give me those points, sweetheart. Did I level up once? Oh, nice. Oh, that's what I needed right there. Do we have any arrows laying around out here? Those iron arrows ain't cheap, baby. I'm glad we got that horde taken care of before it got dark out. That is really good. Before they started running. If I can keep them off the base until horde night, that would be great. That way they're not, you know, damaging our, our base. 
Okay, I didn't notice if I leveled up or not. Let's take a look and see. Uh, da, 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 da. 14, we did. Okay, we're almost to 15. Oh, man. I sure would like to get 15 today. That'd be nice. I should through the night. If I'm digging and making stuff and cobblestone and everything, I should. I like to clear out the zombies around the general area before I call it a day. So that we've got, uh, you know, a little bit of leeway. We don't have uh, zombies roaming around. This house right here needs to be cleaned out. This is the one I was thinking about here. I think we've got one over... I think we did that one over there. Yeah. All right. So that's going to wrap up today's episode. There we go. A little horde to finish off the day. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, do hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 03. Have an awesome, fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again on day five.